Hey math kids, today we're going to talk about how to graph things um, that are given in vertex form. So just as a quick reminder, uh, vertex form looks like this. And vertex form uh, A consider our stretch and H comma K is our vertex all right so we'll just jump right in with a example so we have 3x minus 2 squared plus 5 Okay, so we're given this quadratic function in vertex form. So the first thing you want to do is pull out the vertex. So the vertex is the opposite of this value. So it's negative right here, but it becomes positive down here. And then we keep the sign right here. I know that's confusing, but it's just something you have to get used to. The reason is right here, there's a negative sign in the formula. So what negatives mean in formulas is to change the sign. Positives mean keep the sign. So the k has a positive, h has a negative, so that's why we have to do it. Once again, negative becomes positive, positive stays positive. Okay. All right, so this is our vertex. Now, if we're going to graph this, let's see. So we have one, two, one, two, three, four, five. That's where our vertex is. Now, if we look out front, this value, if it's positive, it's going to be a right side up parabola. If it's negative, it's going to be an upside down parabola. And so we know it's going to be right side up, but we want to be a little more specific than so actually what we're going to do is we're going to find the y-intercept. And if you notice, anywhere on the y-axis, the x value is 0. And so we're just going to plug in a 0 and see what we get. So 0 minus 2 squared plus 5. And, <clears throat> okay, so we get negative 2 in here. Negative 2 squared is positive 4. Positive 4 times 3 is 12. 12 plus 5 is 17. So if I went a little fast through that, just know I'm using PEMDAS. Feel free to use a calculator if that helps you. But I got a 17. So what that tells me is it's going to be way off this graph, but 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. It's going to cross the y-axis right there, all the way up at 17, so it looks like it's going to be pretty skinny. And um, a nice thing about parabolas is they are symmetric about the vertex. So since this point is 2 away from the vertex, if we're thinking of x values, then a similar point will be 2 more away over there because it's symmetric and then this is going to look really bad but uh, not too bad okay imagine that was symmetric it should be but we'll get a graph that looks like that once again this is the distance from here to here is the same as the distance from here to here okay uh, for any given y value so up here at 17 we're two away from the vertex up here at 17 we're two away from vertex from the vertex in a different direction. Okay, let's try another one. Okay, so what if we're given y equals negative two x plus one squared minus four? So the first step is pull out the vertex. And so the vertex, we change the sign and then we keep the sign. So this one, we have negative 1, negative 4. 
and we draw our axes. And so we go left one, down four. Okay, that's our vertex. Because this is negative out in front, we actually know it's going to be an upside down parabola. Um, we don't absolutely like need to know that. Like we can still do it without recognizing that, but it, it's just a good thing to start to recognize when you're doing these. Um, now we're gonna just plug in zero for x all, every time it's zero because we want to know the y-intercept. Okay, so zero plus one is one. One squared is um, one. One times negative two is negative two. Negative two minus four is negative six. So if we go down to negative six, that's where our y-intercept is going to be. Now this time we're only one away from the vertex. So if we just go one over, we'll mirror that point, and then we connect the dots. And that's our parabola. So that's about it. Um, I think I'm gonna do one more just to be safe. If you feel like you have it now though, you could always stop watching the video. Okay, so um, I guess I'll just come up with this off the top of my head. Negative x minus one plus three. Okay, pull out the vertex. Remember we change the sign first. We keep the sign, graph the vertex, go one, one, two, three. Um, since there's a negative out in front, we know it's going to be an upside down parabola, um, but I'm just going to plug in a zero for x, so negative zero minus one squared plus three, so zero minus one is negative one. Negative one squared is positive one. Positive one made negative is negative one. And then negative one plus three is two. Feel free to use a calculator once again. Um, and I'm using PEMDAS to decide which order to go in. Um, so we get a two. And so that means we cross right here. Now this is one away from the vertex if we're thinking x values. So if we go one more away, we'll get that same value. We just kind of mirror it, and then we connect the dots. And I kind of missed that dot, but pretend like I didn't. And that's it. So if you need additional help, please come to Math Lab. Until then, calculator.